Hey, it's Andy Fogarty here from the AtHomeWelder.com for KingMetals.com and today in this episode of Ask the Welder, we're going to go over what is the best ground clamp for you to use and why. So today's question is coming from a fan over on the King Metals Facebook fan page. We post a lot of great videos up there. Uh, myself and Mitchell Dillman from LogFurnitureHowTo.com. Check him out too. We're both posting some great things on the King Metals Facebook fan page, so go check that out. But today, this question comes from one of the fans who saw a recent video we posted there about wire speed. And it says, this is from JT. Now JT asks, Hey Andy, thanks for the videos on the wire speed. It's been pretty helpful, but I'm still having some problems. I'm having a lot of popping and I just can't seem to get that bacon sound that you were talking about. Yeah, we talked about some bacon sounding when welding. Uh, I've adjusted my speeds every which way you can think of and I'm still not getting it right. Can you please help? What's the problem? Also, this machine that I'm using, I recently purchased on Craigslist. Do you think I just got gypped? <laughs> Thanks for everything you're doing. Love the videos, JT. All right, well, JT, I don't know. You could have gotten gypped, but I don't think you did. Most people aren't really out there trying to gyp people. Um, first thing I want you to look at, and this is a major problem that we run into all the time, ground plant. First thing you need to do, always, especially when buying a new or a used welder, is check your ground clamp. Now here's why. If you have an imp a bad ground, you're not going to get a great weld no matter what kind of welder you're using. You can use a brand spanking new Miller welder if you want to, and if you have a crappy ground clamp on there, you're going to have a crappy weld. Now this, this weld is, is very common. This is actually something we pulled off of a used machine that we bought a couple months ago off of Craigslist too. Now, check this out. Not exactly a strong clamp, is it? No. Now, what I want to tell you right now is the best ground clamp to use anytime, any machine, is 100% copper clamp with a strong spring. Now, the problem is most new machines these days don't even come with copper clamps. Uh, this, this doesn't even have any copper on it. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's copper in, in here in the line, but the actual clamp itself, there's no copper. This is just uh, like stamped steel. And, but new machines, they do have some copper on the clamps. They, they have like a steel clamp like this, and then just in the teeth, you'll actually have some copper teeth. Problem is, the whole clamp isn't copper, and copper is the best conductor that there is. That's why all of our wiring is made out of copper. So when your clamp isn't made of copper, you're losing a lot of power there. And especially if you have a very crappy spring like is on this one, which is very common in used welders. I mean, you know, welders get put through a lot of crap and especially the clamps, like you can see on this one, it's been beaten to death. So JT, what I want you to do is I want you to check your clamp. I've got a pretty good idea that your clamp probably looks something like this. Now, where do you go get your copper clamps? Well, your, the best bet is going to go to a welding supply store. They're probably not going to have 100% copper clamps for you to replace, like at a Home Depot or a Lowe's. You might, but I don't think that you will. Probably just depends on the area that you're you're in. Uh, you can probably also go to a Granger, and of course, you can order these online. You can go to Amazon.com or just just about any welding supply place online is going to have copper clamps. Now, they're not the cheapest clamps in the world, but this is one area where you do not want to skimp on price. This is incredibly important to have a great ground, because without the great ground, you have crappy welds, no matter what your settings are. So that's it for this edition of Ask the Welder. Uh, listen, if you haven't already become a fan of the King Metals Facebook fan page, go over there. It takes one click, just become a fan. They give away a lot of really cool stuff and have some great contests, give it away iPads and TVs and all sorts of stuff. So it's pretty cool. Go do that. It'll take you, you know, five seconds and, you know, we show cool stuff over there. So I'm Andy Fogarty for the At Home Welder and King Metals and I'll see you next time.